final video for this milestones module. I'll just summarize the sorts of things that investors and partners and others like to see when they look at a business plan and they see they flip to the back or whatever and they see the milestones and scan over them to try and understand where the business is going, what the venture's plans are, how aggressive they might be or your team might be, what your aspirations are and the like. Essentially, the milestones should be concrete and measurable. In other words, when I look at them, I know what they are, I know what to look for, and I'll know when it's done. That's sort of the first thing that you would tend to look at. And you also want them to be 30 days, 60 days, so that you, once you've committed yourself to become involved with this business, you can watch the success roll out, roll out if you will, and check them off. Um, and you want to focus not just on getting the product going, but the whole business, hiring and firing and creating the situation, creating the operations, getting the marketing going, getting the financing lined up, putting the team together, all of the aspects of the business, not just, you know, this is the product, this is what we're going to sell. So the whole story is what you're looking for, the whole business, the whole operation. They should provide a complete picture of what is needs to be done. In other words, we shouldn't have a whole bunch of marketing milestones, but you never talk about getting the product built, or you never talk about testing the product with the customers, or you don't talk about getting your team together and filling in your sales team and hiring the right people or getting your operations going, or finding the suppliers that you need to make sure that your business Gets, its, uh, gets all of its costs in line and you understand and can plan for them going forward. Importantly, you want the milestones to address the hard things, the things that are risky, because those are the ones you want to knock out as soon as you can. You don't have a bunch of milestones that are easy, like I'm going to hire five people, I'm going to sign a lease for my office space. I mean, these you can just do in an afternoon by a few phone calls. You want the things that really are the ones that will determine whether your business will succeed, the hard things. We will create the product, like if it's an application or software product, we will have the software developed, completed, tested, and working. This is hard, and that's the milestone. It's something that is it's the key things that you really actually have to do. The one thing you don't want to have happen is leave out something important, like getting customers or having customers pay you finding the customers and getting them to come to your store or buy your product or service. Those are the things that you're, you really have hard things that make the business successful. That's what needs to be in the list of business, uh, the list of milestones, the hard things, not the easy ones. And you want all of the things in the list to be such that once they're done, you're completely sure the business has succeeded, not will succeed, but has succeeded, at least getting to the first stage. Like, for example, breaking even, having your product patented and completed, that sort of thing. So these are the sorts of items that you look for. You want things that you can, you know right away, that you can, you'll know when they're done. You want them reasonably quickly, so you know how you're doing fast. You want to focus on the overarching business, not just the product. You want the operations as well as the business, the whole thing, the whole gambit. All of the difficult things are on the list. Getting customers to pay you money, having the product to give them, having the suppliers in place so that you can build the product and make a profit. You have the financing closed. All of the tough things are in this list. And if they're all accomplished, then you've succeeded. That's essentially how someone looks at the list. So let's look at an example. This is a possible application, somebody building a business that has a, um, the idea of this business is it's a camera that goes around your pet's neck or in their collar and you could essentially tune in anytime when you're at work or school or whatever and see what your pet's up to. You know, they might be in the closet or they might be sleeping or they might be looking around, looking f around the house, wandering around or whatever. And you have a visual uh, history of what your pet is doing. That's the pr application. You complete the prototype in month one, you develop an agreement with the various products, you market test the prototype and you test it for value, you do the cost analysis, and you can see these various milestones. 
But essentially, if you go down this list, you have ones that are related to the operations and quality and product development and marketing, distri distribution agreements, revenue and that comes in the door. And if all of these are done, and the final one is the patent is issued, it takes a few years. So the patent is finally issued. You have a product that people are buying, that works, that you have proven that people are willing to pay for, and that you have completely protected with intellectual property. These milestones, if they all hit, you have a successful business. That's the sort of thing you look for when you build milestones. The individual milestones are discrete and clear. You have a complete list that covers the whole business. When you look back on them, if they've all been checked off successfully, you have made a lot of money. Your business works. You have succeeded. Milestones, achieving milestones, lead to success. So the milestones have to be constructed in such a way that if they are completed, then there has been success. And that's the key to developing your list of milestones. Thanks for listening to all these videos on milestones. The, uh, the article in the Harvard Business Review from October of 1985 uh, that, uh, by Ian, Ian McMillan uh, called Successful Venture Planning, or excuse me, um, Milestones for Venture Planning, uh, is also a very good article to look at. It covers a lot of this as well. Um, any other questions, we can, we can have discussions about them. But thanks for joining in on this one, and we'll see you at the very next module. Take care.